All right, guys, hope you're doing well. This is Lewis Rollins, and I'm a nutritional balancing practitioner. And in this video, I'm going to talk about a really powerful and simple technique um, to improve your life, your emotional well being, to become more balanced, um, and yeah, to live a fulfilled life. And uh, yeah, one thing that I've learned definitely whilst doing the uh, program is the and I've talked about it a few times you know once you get yourself back into relatively decent health um, you're not necessarily happy um, actually what you should be doing is changing the word happiness to fulfilled because it's a much better word to use uh, the thing with happy um, you know if you're happy then when you're not happy you're kind of sad but fulfillment means that even when things are going not great which they will do in life it always does you know if you're feeling fulfilled and content then you it's it's okay you sort of um it's not a big problem um but yeah one of the things that i learned very quickly that is that although i had the foundation for fulfillment i wasn't uh feeling fulfilled and that's when i had to embark on a new journey of you know what does it take for a human to be happy, fulfilled? You know, what is the meaning of life? You know, do we have a purpose? Um, you know, what makes us tick? Um, that all that sort of stuff. And I've come up with a method, which I think is super, super powerful. You can read all these books and watch YouTube videos and sign up to courses, and they'll basically tell you the same thing that I'm gonna explain now but in a long-winded roundabout way. You know, if there's one thing that we all know is that there's not enough hours in the day <laughs> to, to basically do everything. You know, you watch someone like Tony Robbins and, you know, he, he's got different videos on a thousand different subjects related to emotional health. And I just wanted to find some sort of method similar to the programme, which I could implement into my life um, to keep me sort of uplifted, fulfilled content on a daily basis. So I'm going to actually integrate this into the, into the new app that, that I'm creating for the, uh, for the program. But I'm going to basically tell it you guys now because you can test it out and provide feedback. Um, so yeah, here's basically how it goes. It's pretty simple. At the moment, I use the, the Tasks app by Google. Um, I know it's probably not the best app to use, but it works well at the moment because I can just quickly change things, move things around. Um, it's quite easy to see. So basically what you do is you write down a list of these um, things. So write down rest, um, friends, uh, mission, purpose, health, um, work, um, home environment, um, self-care, um, novelty slash experiences, um, group rituals slash gatherings, uh, nature immersion, family, romantic relationship and security. Um, I've added an extra one in there for myself personally, well I've added an extra two in there for myself personally, which is creativity and, um, and uh, YouTube because they're, they're two things that I want to, um, yeah, be fulfilled in my life. And once you've written them, uh, that list down, I know there's quite a few, but I'll explain how you can um, manage them all. Once you've written all them down, you write a number next to them from zero to 100. How fulfilled are you in, the, are you in them areas? Um, and most of you probably will not get above 50. <laughs> You know, I know that was the case for me in the beginning, you know. Um, for some things you might be high, um, you know, safety and security. For example, if you live in a fam if you live with family or, or you're in a healthy relationship, that can always be sort of pretty high. But yeah, you want to be writing down a number between 0 and 100. And this basically is life balance it's fulfillment in many areas of human health and development and you know as i've sort of grown and developed um i've realized that yeah these this list is basically a good 
solid starting point for human fulfillment and development and yeah basically what you do is once you've sort of written them down um, rest needs to be right at the top of the list now one thing that people uh, do and they easily run into problems is they'll do something like this they'll read an ebook or you know they'll start some sort of course and you know they'll start taking massive action and they'll be sort of cleaning all the house out and going on a run and you know meeting friends and doing all these things they end up burning themselves out and start getting frustrated so what you need to do is you need to have rest at the top and you need to always keep rest above 80 you know so if you feel like you're doing a little bit too much and your rest level is going down because you should be trying to change these numbers every day or every couple of days you don't don't have to be too anal about it um, but you want to be keeping rest at 80 because that keeps you in check it keeps you in balance it keeps your body rested you know because um, that's a big stumbling block for a lot of people when they start trying to get into this sort of stuff is they just end up doing too much and burning themselves out and then giving up um, and yeah it's a waste of time basically so keep rest at the top and that always has to be above 80 or try and make it above 80 it's probably not going to be like that when you first uh, first start it and then you can reorder all of the um, different categories underneath from lowest to highest basically so from zero to 100 so you know your friends and social life might be zero um, your family time might be 70 80 so rearrange them all so it's not to 100 and it's very very simple to do this basically represents your emotional well-being you know and if you can sort of get most of these um, categories sort of above 50 a few of them above 70 80 um, you know you're going to be pre you're going to be feeling pretty good most of the time so every day you need to look at your list um, so at the moment my friends is quite low it's at the top at the moment um, my YouTube's quite low because I've not been um, doing YouTube every day and what else is quite low um, novelty and experiences is quite low because I've been yeah been in the house quite a lot recently and just doing work and uh, let's see my creativity at the moment needs a bit of work so you think you look at them and you think oh my god like there's a lot of things to do friends is low novelty slash experiences is low creativity is low youtube's low now what you do is you what you, tr you try and kill two three or even four birds with one stone so i looked at that list and i thought right friends novelty experiences creativity youtube right okay what can i do so what i've done is I've planned a trip with friends to a lake, a really nice lake that we all like to go to. And I've recently bought a canoe. So I invited everyone to come canoe in with me, which is a brand new experience. And I'm going to cook them some food by the lake. So as you can see, once I've finished that event, my friends category is going to be going way up. My novelty and experiences category is also going to be going up too. And um, yeah, so that's them two things uh, going strong. Now we've got YouTube creativity. So that's not going to take a full day to do that with my friends. And that. So what I could do, I'm not going to guarantee I'm going to do it, but I'm just trying to give you an example. What I could do is in the morning, I could spend the morning making loads of YouTube videos, which I can, um, which I can basically put on every day automatically. And at the same time, well, I could go and do this in nature, which will be pushing up my nature um, immersion because I think that's really important too. Category, so I can go and do that in nature. And afterwards, I've been meaning to start work on a drawing for my grandparent, my granddad, he really loves 
kingfishers. It reminds him of uh, my grandma that passed away. So um, I really want to draw, draw him a picture of a kingfisher. I used to be I used to, I used to do art at school. Um, so that's so that my YouTube's going to go up. My creativity's going to go up. My novelty experience is probably going to go up as well because I'll, I'll go and pick a brand new place to do it. Um, my rest's going to be doing good and my family's going to be going up and my nature immersion's going to be going up. So you see where I'm going with this. So your life starts to become amazingly fulfilled because every day you're thinking about cool new things to do which end up topping up the human experience the you know the, the human yeah just human fulfillment human balance um so that's basically it give it a try um another important thing a uh, distinction between male and females it's to do with hormones estrogen and testosterone i'm not going to go into it too much but one of the things that really makes a man happy is achievement so when he goes out and achieves something um, something to do with his purpose or mission so I always try and keep my mission um, sort of just, un just under rest rest's right at the top I always try to keep that above 80 and I, I try and keep my mission and purpose um, just underneath that actually as a male um, because I know that when I do a little bit on my mission and purpose every day um, and feel like I've achieved something it really makes me feel great um, and that's because of the dynamics between male energy, female energy. Um, for a woman, it's more to do with find out basically what makes you happy and do it. Working hard and achieving for a woman in terms of um, energetically, spiritually, um, and, and sort of hormonally, it doesn't give the same effects as it does with men. Um, what makes women tick is basically doing something every day or the majority that, that just makes them happy I'll give you a good example uh, my partner she's a hairdresser she's got her own business she she and she's working hard at the moment she's back to work after the pandemic and the more she works the more depressed she becomes I can see it and we got a little dog she loves dogs and as soon as she sees the dog as soon as she's playing with the dog she's instantly happy because that's what makes her happy, <laughs> you know. And I said to her this morning, I says, you know what you need? You need some sort of doggy daycare centre. And you know, she, she just lit up. Now, you know, for me, that doesn't really tick my buttons. I'm all about sort of, you know, um, and I'm not saying there's not achievement in there, but you can see the difference. Um, you know, I like what makes me happy. Um, I'd, I like art, I like creativity, but I couldn't do that all my life. It just wouldn't make me tick, although it sort of makes me happy, if that makes sense. Um, but if a woman really, really loves loves art, uh, generally that will make her fulfilled um, much, much better than it would a man, if that makes sense. So, yeah, maybe if, if a, for a man you should put at the top your mission purpose, and that's something that you should, should try and uh, dwell on if you don't really know it yet. And for, for women, a good thing to do is to also put up there, you know, what makes you happy? You know, being a practitioner might make a woman general, genuinely happy. You know, um, um, my partner, the hairdressing, she, she's happy doing it, but the, 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 she works really hard and that actually doesn't make her happy, if that makes sense. So, um, so yeah, if you want to know about more about... Um, male female dynamics and hormones you should check out john gray um, famous guy the guy he wrote um he's basically wrote the book on relationships it's called men are from mars women are from women are from venus and yeah for anyone sort of wanting to delve in more into their sort of mission and purpose um, a good thing to do is to basically write down five people who inspire you you know five people that are doing something with their life that inspires them and then figure out what thing inspires you specifically from each individual. And then usually your mission and purpose um, is kind of mixed in between all five of them things in a roundabout way. You know, it's usually something that fires you up in your soul. So that's a good little technique to do. 
so yeah that's everything so give it a try and uh, you know every day you'll be doing something different and obviously keep doing you know your health needs to be up there 80 90 100 and keep doing the program but I say to myself now if I'm feeling a little bit low for whatever reason or you know I'm feeling a little bit numb uh, you know instead of usually I'll look at my list and usually it's because I'm getting low on on a few categories um, and you know as soon as I sort of bump them up I just come alive again <laughs> and so that's a really simple way of, of just becoming fulfilled and emotionally well in this life and give it a try and uh, you know, every day you'll be coming up with uh, new and interesting things to do, which kills multiple birds with one stone. And um, that's a secret to living a fulfilled life. So, yeah, thanks for listening. If you've made it this far, I know it's a long one, but, yeah, it's an important one, I think. And um, catch you soon.